A pie chart shows how different categories make up a whole. For example, you could survey students about their favorite animal and make a pie graph of the results. Out of the students in this survey, you can see that almost half prefer horses and about a quarter prefer dolphins. The remaining students had a few different favorite animals. Before we dive into how to create a pie chart, it's important for you to know that pie charts are not always the best way to make comparisons. It's harder for our brains to judge area than length. This means it's usually easier to interpret a column chart than a pie chart. Column charts are especially good if your numbers are closer together, making it hard to tell from a pie chart which slices are bigger and by how much. Column charts are also easier to read when you have lots of categories. But pie charts can be effective when you'd like to show a general idea of which values are big or small and if the values are pretty similar or pretty different. This chart would be good for sending the message that a lot of students like horses and the remainder are divided in what they like. So if you want to make a pie chart instead of a column chart, you'll label two columns in your Google Sheet. The first is the kind of categories you have and the second is the number or percent that you measured for each category. Next, you'll fill in the categories in the first column and put their values in the second column. If you're writing your values in terms of percent, be sure that they add up to 100%. If you have a lot of small values that aren't important to call out specifically on your chart, you can collect all the small ones into an other category. Once your data is in the spreadsheet, you're ready to make your chart. If you want a head start on your chart, try clicking the Explore button on the lower right of the screen. If you scroll through Google's suggestions, you may see a pie chart that you'd like to use. If so, you can click and drag to add it to your sheet. Then use the three dots on the top right of the chart to customize the look and feel. Sometimes the Explore section will not have the kind of chart you want to use. In that case, you can select your data, including the labels, and go to Insert Chart. Google will guess which kind of chart you want, but you can change it in the drop-down box under Chart Type. A donut chart is the same as a pie chart, but with a hole in the center. After you pick your chart type, you can do some pretty cool customizations. I made all of these charts from the same data. The only difference is the way I formatted my chart in the chart editor. So let's explore our styling options. Chart style lets us change the background color. We can choose a font and make our chart 3D. The pie chart section lets you choose between a pie chart and a donut chart. There are different sizes of donut hole that you can choose between. You can add in a border color and choose how to label each slice that's big enough to display something, whether it's the category label, the numerical value, or the percent. Then you can style the labels with a font, size, format, or color that you like. Chart and axis titles is where you can change the wording of your title. Give your chart a descriptive title. You want it to be meaningful so if someone found your chart without any explanation, they'd still know what they were looking at. You can also add a subtitle by selecting the title type from the dropdown. Then you can change its format. The Series section lets you change the color of one slice at a time by changing the Apply To dropdown. Legend lets you decide between having a legend somewhere on your chart or labeling each slice, even the ones that were too small to fit a label within the slice itself. So that is how you make a pie chart. If you want a head start on creating your own chart, you can look in the description for a link to this Google Sheets file. When you're done creating your own pie chart, check out our video for making a column chart or hop over to Excel to make a pie chart there. Subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks in Google Sheets and Excel.